Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, part 32 I'm pretty sure we're on now, guys. So, we're back. And you might be thinking, oh, you're still on Unvik, the uh, the dreaded isle of, um, giant. But no, we are, we're here because I forgot to talk to Hjalmar, uh, Viggy, and Folan. I, I think I can actually have a conversation with at least Hjalmar about when he was younger with Ciri. So I want to do that before I move on to the Ceres quest, which I'm going to get done straight away. So I'm going to try and talk to him. Okay, that was awesome. Right. Ah, Geralt. How are things? Okay, planning another voyage? You and Siri group together? Okay. Got another voyage in mind? Of course. Ice Giant was just the beginning. Besides, I got all kinds of horse sons already saying he wasn't that big. What about the folk of Undvik? You and your men were going to help them return to their isle and rebuild Urskar. Cerus will take care of that. Hmm. Let's try to check. Yeah. So, I guess I was meant to have this dialogue, you know, later on, but I may as well do it now I'm here. I also want to do the Gwent thing with uh, Lugos, so I'm going to go and do that very, very soon. I actually might do that first, and I think about it. You and Siri, as I remember, you two grew up together, at least for a while. Aye. Spent half our childhood in the Isles. Always at my heels she was. Scrawny wee thing. But her leaps on ice skates. Why, none of us could rival them. Tried to outdo her once. Smashed me mouth on a rock. And then you went to Krach and announced you'd agreed to wed. You hear of that? Aye. We had twelve winters on us. Both. Any thought of continuing that romance? Me da whipped it out of me head. <laughs> Wonder what it'd be like to see her now. Yeah, so I guess Yalmar and um, Siri are the same Farewell, age. On Crate. Right, I actually just realized, I think I already did the Gwent thing, right? I swear to God I did it. So I've done Gwent old pals. <laughs> I was just sat there and I thought, hang on. I've, <laughs> I'm talking about doing this Gwent thing, but I'm pretty sure I already did that. What I want to do today is I want to do the, um, let's have a look here. So I have like stuff like this to do, right? Um, low level quests like the Family Fortune. I've got markers just to do out and about. I've got contracts. But I, I want to do the um, possession first. Oh, hang on. I have a radiator and it's like an oil one. Uh, wait, hang on. Um, so I want to do this first. Okay, so I'm going to go there now. I think I should just be able to fast travel there. There you go. Um, before, I guess I could go and do that marker first, right? While I'm, while I'm there, you know, it's just up there. I got a few out here that I guess I can do when I'm in the bay. Yeah, right, we'll go there now. Okay, we made it. You know, I was thinking, uh, sometimes I, I do think, oh, God, you know, I'm just, I'm quite tired. I do a lot on The Witcher and all this other stuff. But genuinely, it, it's just sort of in my mind. It's very odd because when I actually play the game and I come and record these parts and stuff, it's all, it's like a, it's like a weekly, I might have talked about this before, but it's kind of like a weekly reminder of why I play it. Because, and, and why I do videos on it and why I enjoy it. Because it's just, it is an incredible game. Like, when I load up the game and I, I, every, because I do this every week, right? I've done, like, 30 parts now, which is about 30 weeks. Probably, um, probably collectively I've sort of loaded up the game more with videos and stuff when I haven't done a part, you know, and I've had to miss them. Um, but hearing that, you know, I see you gathered, gathered before me. Hungry. Terrified, you know, all that sort of stuff. Clutching your babe to your, you know, that sort of stuff. I think it's, um... I don't know. And then when I load in the game and I hear the music and it, it depends where I am, right? But most of the time, at least recently, I guess it's been Skelliger. See, I can't go in this house yet. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to work out where I'm going here. How do I get up? I guess I go round the back of the house? There's like a route. I, I'll, do you know what? I'll do the Ceres mission first and then I'll just explore this aisle. Because I feel like I, I probably just have to access all these areas that I, um, that I, I shouldn't really go to before the quest. But right, yeah. So we had a bit of a mess last time with the um, the Unvic thing, which is why I took a week off, because it was just such a, like, it was draining. At the end of all that, I, like, enjoyed it, but then at the end I was just like, oh my god. Because um, also editing that was such a pain, because it was what just, like, it was so messy. Like but I'm, you know, I'm fine now, and I'm very, very happy to be back. I, I logged into the game today, and I had that thought, which is why I thought I'd um, share it with you all. I thought, god damn, this is why I play the game. Like, look at that. That's why I make videos on it, even though it's been, like... What year is it now? It's been like four years since the, uh, since it, since it released. I did? Sure. Um, it's been three years since Blood of Wine. Blood of Wine, nothing really, you know, significant has come out since then. Uh, to do with, you know, AAA games and stuff. 
Obviously, we had that news. I hate that marker. It always baits me so hard. Right. Okay. Well, nighttime, guys. Time for some creepy stuff. Welcome to the home of Jarl Udelrek of the Honorable Clan Brockvar. Greetings. Wanted to see the Jarl. Enter. Jarl's still speaking to his seer, but they should finish soon. One thing. Watch where you step. How come? Jarl's not too fond of light. Makes it easy to trip. Okay. Right, you ready, guys? I'm gonna start this mission. In a minute. Starboard side. Up to see half the crew swept overboard out of reach. I can't really see anything. Should I wait till day? I kind of want to wait till no, I think nighttime suits it better. I'm just gonna go and say hello. Respect, Witcher. We'll be done in a moment. And then a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed to my mind. It's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No. They demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. Know where Ceres is? What happened to him? Should I say that first? I'm gonna say that. I see something wrong. You must forgive the Earl. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? He didn't seem quite right during Croc's feast, but... Forgive me. I must go to him. Where's Ceres? I've got to find her. Uh, I don't know. Ask around. Great. <laughs> fine, fine. We'll go and ask around. Ceres? Um, ask the warriors? No, right, okay. Let's go and, let's go and ask some peeps. Some peeps. <laughs> right. Okay. I've never said that in my life. Okay. Right. Um, oh, there is actually an innkeeper. Maybe we could ask him over a game of Gwent because, you know, I want to go and play Gwent. Hey, guys. Hey, innkeeper. Looking for some entertainment. Want a drink? What kind of entertainment you got in mind? What? Why beer, mead, and strong spirits? What do you expect in a tavern? Jump rope. I don't know where you're from, but I can see it's far off. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll check what he's got. Show me what you have in stock. Oh, he's got some Gwent cards. Um, I'll just buy them all. See, I don't know if I'm just buying duplicates here, but at the end of the day, I want it all. The Brockvar clan. Can you tell me about it? We from the Brockvar clan are masters of the sea. Bred and born to the water. Not everyone in Skellige spent a lot of time in the water. <laughs> they think so too. But all they do is skim the top of it in their long ships, all wrapped up in heavy furs. From time to time, the wind blows a bit of spray from the oars in their faces. That's their only contact with water. Whereas our boys, as soon as they can walk, dive off cliffs into the very depths of the sea. Okay, right, let's play some Gwent. God, it's so dusty in the room I'm in right now. I have no idea why. <laughs> what would you say to a little game of Gwent? Oh, of course he said yes. People keep on saying to put Villain Tretemuth in the deck, but the problem is, is the only bronze cards I have in this kind of work in unison other than the Ballistas, but then they can get doubled. You know what? Just because just you guys, I'll take out... Thing is, I'll take out uh, fine. I'll take out a trebuchet and I'll put villain. Oh wait, no, hang on. That was another thing I forgot to put him in. Um, uh, I'll take out another ballista, I guess. Thing is, this is gonna ruin the uh, the duplicate, the 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 double play. I, I'd rather, you know, I'm not putting villain Tremoth in. And you know what? You guys can explain to me why I'm wrong later on. But for now, I'm happy with that deck. It always wins. I mean, I've just put Tala in, but you know what? It's Tala. We'll take him out. 
And we'll take a blister out. <laughs> okay, we got Tala. So I'm gonna open, right? Let's see what we're gonna open with here. I'm gonna open with Philippa. It's a strong start. I like it. We've got such a good deck now. Like, oh my god. Oh, is he gonna is he gonna Siri me? Well I'll Geralt his Siri, and if he Geralt's my Geralt, then I'll Siri his Geralt. That's right. John Natalis. Oh, that's kind of annoying. He's staying even with me. I'll John Natalis his John Natalis, yeah, that's right. What now? He's gonna fill up at me. Why has everyone got <laughs> these cards that I've won <laughs> from like special special things? Like, I've got a unique card, Geralt. Here it is. Everyone else has it, by the way. Right, screw you, I'm gonna Siri you then. How does that feel? Alright, see. Go on then. Ha! Ah! And then I'm gonna I'm gonna uh Tala him. And if he gives the Tala back to me, I can um res it or something. Or decoy it, sure, why not? Either or. And you know what it's time for, guys? Boom. That feels like a bit of a waste to me, but you know what? Maybe they had nothing. Oh, that was a good play, actually. I like that. Oh! Oh! Well, I can res that Tala. And then if he reses my Tala, I can decoy it. Oh my god, he's totally he's doing that as well. Um... I'll tell you what, I'm gonna open with the Yennefer res just so I can get some points on the board. Um, there you go. And then I'm going to decoy the Tala. Oh my god, he's got so many spies on me. Um, i tell you what I can do. I, I could, um, I can do this. I can go Scorch. Then I can revive that five, because I, I think he's going to try and two round me for some reason. I got this sort of sort of inclination, you know. So I'm going to do this. Okay. Then he's going to biting frost, so I can give him the Dijkstra now. And then I can Avalok. Oh my God! Why am I getting so many spies? I just realized, like Jesus. Uh, I kind of don't want to play those guys. So then I'm going to do this into Dijkstra. How many cards can I have in my hand? <laughs> uh, I don't know what to play here. I guess I could put down the six. Would that put me ahead? I think it puts me one ahead, right? Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, we pulled it back-ish. We got a lot of spies. Uh, um... I've got so many cards. <laughs> oh my god. Hang on, I need to be careful here. I'm gonna roach his roach, and then I'm gonna have to spy him a bit, I guess. The problem is, is I've got so many spies. I have two spies in my hand, and I have eight cards. I think the max you can have is like ten or something? I'm not really sure. Okay. Good idea. I might command his horn in my front row, because I don't really have another play. Like, I, I kind of want to save these and stuff. So I can, um... See, this is where Villain Trim... Uh, no, this is where just a straight-up Scorch would be good, actually. So I'm going to do this. God, how many cards do I... I've nearly drawn every single card in my deck. I guess I rezzed a load of his spies and drew basically all of mine. Okay. Right, you ready, guys? This is- I, I just want to see- I think this is going to be a really high point round. Like, this is going to be maybe the highest point round I think I've ever had in the game. Because I have- oh my god, this is going to be incredible. How high can I get this? Oh my god, I'm going to get over 200. Uh, is this the first? Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh my... 246! Is that the highest I've ever had? Oh yeah, sorry, I was doing a Ceres thing. Completely... Oh yeah, clear weather. Amazing. Yes. What a reward for the uh, 246 round. <laughs> um, no. Well, that was amazing. Um, I'm gonna go find Ceres. I guess that's the secondary mission to the Gwent, uh, Gwent games, now but... here's a manly one. Greetings. Ha! Nary a soul for months. Then one day, guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. 
You weary traveller. Hungry. I'm looking for a young woman, name of Ceres. Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, you've found her, or near to. Last was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Bergthora and Eirik. Who? Who are Bergthora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Bergthora's hand. They live toward the east end of the village. Okay, well, we'll go and see Beg Thor. That's a strange name. And my blessings to Sarah when you see her. It's strange so many people are, you know, out and about. He's here for the flesh. Sorry to interrupt. You need something? Come, let's have a pint and a chat. Um, okay. Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Sarah. Crack on Crate's daughter. She was here, but I've not seen her away. Hmm, okay. Take care. Well, that was a good conversation. Hey, are you okay, dog? I'm just walking. Jesus Christ. Um, I, oh yeah, animals don't like witches. That was a thing. Is he just follow? Oh, he's happy. Okay, cool. That's fair enough. Oh, here's, here's Beg Berg Greetings. Thor. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> Lucky chap you are then. Truth be told, I'm taken, but village is brimming with lovely girls. <laughs> sure. Did you say lovely girls? Where? Maybe one would be willing to show me around the island. Well, there's Vea, lovely one, Cooper's daughter. Though, nah, she's got teeth like fish hooks. Now, Deborah, there's a fine lass. Teeth bang on straight. Though, there is a growth under her right eye. Hmm. Maya's got a right dreamy face, if not for that bit of bone rot on her right foot. Ah, nuts. Now I give it a think, well, none of these lasses are really appealing. God damn it. Okay, right, let's uh, find Sarah Shaw. I'm looking for Sarah's. The skinny thing. Lovely doe eyes, true, and she's from an honourable house. But the lass is gaunt as a sapling. I don't know where she is, and her father... Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man, Eirik. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, t'other side of the isle. Thanks. Take care. Good luck searching. Sure. Thank you, uh, Berg Thora. So that's an odd name. I feel like I should not have done this in the middle of the night. It is so dark. I can't really. Well, I I can see, but I know that YouTube likes to uh, compress the hell out of videos. So you know, I'm hoping that it will look fine for everyone. <laughs> Maybe a little bit dark, but you know what? It adds to the atmosphere. Just enjoy my voice with the occasional flash of a uh, girl's lovely white hair. And uh, yeah, we'll set it today <laughs> at some point. But I think for what happens in the mission, I think it's cool just to have a little, you know, like a nighttime excursion. I don't really do many nighttime things in this game because I always make it day. But you know what? For this, I, I like it. Oh, this reminds me of The Witcher 1. The drowners by the, the lakeside with a little, little hut. Hey. I've, I've improved my combat techniques. Okay, that's enough. A lot of people are very annoyed at my, um... Well, a few of you guys were getting annoyed at my inverted combos build. And I think I've said before that I'm not really doing a build. I'm just kind of playing... Oh. like goes around the waist heap. I be sure we showed him. We seem to remember you sitting on that rock crying for help. Ah, but if not for me warning... You'd be heron bit about now. Um, sure, need your help. And if not for my help. But no, I'm, I'm not really doing a, a inverted commas, you know, like a, like a build. I, I'm doing more of just, I like the bear armor, and I kind of started with a sign, I guess, build. So I've kind of kept that. <laughs> uh, but I could go with some more potions, I guess. Um, and if not for my help, need your help. Um, sure. And if not for me, you'd have sat on that rock till you died and rotted. For the love of Freya, all right. Have it your way. You saved me, now what? What, need I march around the country singing in your praises? No, just tell me where to find Ceres. Must be daft. You helped me with the sea devils, but that don't mean I'm willing to gossip about Uncrate's daughter. 
Oh, sorry. I was stood up. I was closing my curtain. I was getting a bit of like, like sun, and you know I can't be having that. No, I'm kidding. I was. It was like glaring. I <laughs> couldn't see the screen. Uh, want me to tell everyone you're? I'm not gonna say that. That's like an optional dialogue thing. I don't want to say that. I have the Oz blessing. I'm worried about her. I could just that. I might get to pay money if I. I'm gonna say that. Think for a minute. If not for the Jarl, would I know to look for her here? Ah, right. So it's like the Jarl himself sent you. Should have said so at the start. She asked about our Jarl and his family. Went to Odelgrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. Thanks. Farewell. See, that's all you need to do. And you might be like, oh, you didn't do the dialogue. But you know what? I'm not an asshole. I'm not going to tell him that he's a coward. He already knows he is. <laughs> he is a bit of a coward. Oh my god, guys, I'm just saying, I absolutely love this music so much. I I've used it in videos before. I, I When I logged on today, um, and I heard, I think it was it was the creepy sort of um, Unvic music. I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. And now we're here and we're listening to this. It's just like, oh. This game is like... It's like nostalgic for me, but also kind of, um, it's like, it's like a, it's, it, I don't know how to describe it really. It's like, it's like the memories of when I played the game so much as well, but also mixed with when I made a video about it, if that makes sense. <laughs> so it's like not exactly nostalgic. It's more of like, oh, I know that song and I love it. And I remember listening to it ages ago, but I also remember listening to it recently and all this other stuff, you know? I mean, despite whatever happens on my YouTube channel, I just, I know that I'm always going to play this game, even when I'm like a, like an old, an old man, you know, like 90 years old, sat playing as Geralt. <laughs> if, if, if the world's still around, uh, but no, right. Okay, so, oh, here she is, guys, creepy old house, let's have a look. Damn. This is why I want it to be nighttime. And this is why it's night time. I don't know if I want to go down there yet. Let, let's let's not. Um, oh. Aha. A chest of drawers. Loot the old yard's house. That'll be some old water. Fresh footprints. Could be Ceres's. Yes, I guess we will follow them after we have looted everywhere else, Geralt. Good idea. I like that. Clever. Aha. Key to the cellar, huh? Oh, there's stuff up there. I've never even noticed that before. Damn it. I'll get there one day. Oh, it's creepy going down here. Okay, right. Let's just go. Let's just let's just hold our witcher head and do it. We're scary. We're a scary witcher. What is this? Oh, a sword. Oh. What is this about? Said hi, I'm on the UR I mean on the um Witcher sense. <clears throat> Okay, well, we found something before we went and found Ceres. This is why you got to loot, guys. It's a quest. I, I know what it is, by the way. Just, just, I'm RPing, okay? Oh, my God. There's a lot of cool stuff. I guess we'll light the candles. I want a bit of light down here. Why not? Might lighten the place up a bit. Make it look a little bit less dark and horrible and terrible. I kind of want to light up this place, you know? I feel like it's a good idea. God, how do I... Okay. This this feels like I might be wasting my time, but also, you know, it's so dark, I bet you guys can't even see anything. Okay, badass. Let's go. Well, we found that. That was cool. Hmm. Another room. That is a horrible noise. Saris. Ah. Passed out. Gotta get her out of here. What happened? Where am I? Oh, my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. For a sword? Mean this one? You have it? Then what are we waiting for? We've got to see Ulrich. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. Um, why'd you go in the house? 
Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Udelrek. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have if I'd only found the sword. Uh, what's so important about this sword? So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, the ancestral sword of Udelrek's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelrek. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelrek and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelrek. But his father gave Brockvar to his little brother, Aki. Huh. Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelrek to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udelrek to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. They make friends. Something happened on that trip. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelrek had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. Hmm. What do you think? Did Udelrek kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udelrek right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. So your your plan was just to get the sword? Okay, cool, right. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelrek's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Okay, so you wanted to give the sword to the ghost? Sure, sure. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods, it's Aki. Okay. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udelrik let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udelrik didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brockvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udelrik alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udelrek both lived here. Maybe that's why. Besides, now we've got the sword. We'll soon see if that's what it's about. Hmm. No harm in trying, I suppose. Let's go see Udelrek. Be interesting to see if there actually is a ghost in all this. Right, let's go. My da. Look at that view. We were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But... Well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Hmm, okay. Thought it was more to it. Well, there you go. Cool. Nice. Full lag. I did. I did. Got a minute? Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mean you don't agree? Bran spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, came and there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. Let's see. Right, well, let's get back to the, the mission. I just thought I'd quickly get that dialogue out. 
Okay, right, Ceres, let's go and see Udalric. Oh. It's such an awesome, like, environment, isn't it? Just so different everywhere you go in this game. I mean, I, I, I'm interested to, uh, obviously, later on in the game when it's all main story, but it's still exciting now. Where is Yennefer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened? What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. I mean, you, he literally said earlier the gods demand sacrifice, but <laughs> sure. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. Sure. Um, this. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. The gods aren't that cruel, don't be afraid. I'm just gonna- I'm not gonna be asking questions, I gotta just say everything with, you know, with confidence, and I'm sure it'll work. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well... Maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? I, Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Well, I think this makes sense to uh, to wait till the daytime. I don't think Geralt would realistically swim out in the middle of the night into just the sea. So um, we're going to wait till daytime. Uh, that'll do sort of mid-morning. There we go. Isn't that nicer? I mean, it's horrible and rainy, but you know what? Let's wait another day. <laughs> let's let's just wait a few more days. Let's wait till the rain's gone. You know, that'll be great. I'm, I'll be happy about that one. Is it going to stop? Ah, oh, there we go. Isn't, look at that. There we go. I can actually see now. Definitely nice. Well, what have I, um, is there anything else in this village that I need to go to? Okay, there is a shopkeeper. I need to go to every possible person. See, I can't remember. I think you can only play against, like, armorers and merchants and innkeepers for Gwent. Is it even merchants? I don't even know. We can check now. That damn the dogs. You don't look like one to haggle. Well, oh, yeah, so he does Gwent. Show me what you do you sell cards? I'm not sure if these guys sell cards. I always forget because I know that certain that like, you can play Gwent against them, but you can't. You can't like. I don't know. It's weird, right? Let me check. Are these named? There's a racing horse blinder. I don't want that. Um, I just want to sell some stuff while I'm here because my carry weight is um, is is pretty used actually, isn't it? If you look at it. Sell sell all my hides. Why not? 
God, you get a lot for the uh, the hides. I'm glad someone... Um, it, I have literally been... I, I don't know when it'll be. It'll be in October sometime, I think. I'll have been playing this game for a year. I've, I'll have been playing The Witcher 3 for a year. That is absolutely insane to me. A year. I mean, god damn. That is a long time, and I'm only in Skellige. But I'm, I'm a big way through the game, I think. Like, I'm definitely... I'd say over half? I don't know, though, because there is the whole Care Morn, and then the, like, after bit, and then there's all the DLC. Oh my god, I'm nowhere near half. Right, no, it's fine. Okay. Alright, let's Gwent. Don't know that I'm gonna buy anything, but I sure wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent. Well, I was thinking the way I'm going to, uh, structure it once I get to, um, Hearts of Stone and Blood of Wine is it'll be... It'll be like a continuation of the playthrough, obviously, but I'll title it as if it's like a new thing. So it's like, you know, Hearts of Stone Part 1, you know what I mean? As opposed to The Witch 3 Part 157 or something. <laughs> I, I don't know, I think I'll probably, um, I don't know what part the game will be done by. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna guess like 60 or something. Uh, but then I still obviously have the DLC and I was thinking of doing that as like a new... As if it's a new thing, even though it's not for us, you know, it's just a continuation. It's like what it's like a new part every week. It'd just be Hearts of Stone content instead. But yeah, I thought that might be fun. Then I'll do the same with Blood and Wine and it'll it'll just keep it, you know, fresh and I'll all I'll count it as like part, you know, sixty whatever when it is that though. I just think it'd be cool. Right, I'm gonna um do this. Ooh. He's gonna decoy me, I see. I should have um I should have played that way more smart, I just realized. Is that Milva? I didn't read the name, I just I think that's what Milva looks like in Gwent for some reason. I don't really have many good um good options, do I? Like, I have um, gold cards, obviously, which are big, but um, what I mean is I don't have many. Yikes. I might have to just skip here. He's only seven ahead of me. I could just put that eight down. The thing is, I want to save the eight. I'll see. If he puts, like, a double down, then obviously I'm just going to have to skip. Okay. It's good he got that out of the way, actually. Right, that'll do. Oh god, that 10 play is really strong. Okay. Okay, that's, that's pretty annoying. Um, I can play one of these. Thing is, this is this is difficult. He needs to put that spy down. I need to be able to decoy it, or I'm kind of screwed here. Oh my god, this is terrible. Okay, well I can put this on the front row, right? Sure. Why is he saving this spy till his last card? This is very very annoying. Hang on, I'm gonna do this. Because I can, he'll have to play the spy, right? Yeah, he has to. That's actually a ten. That's not bad. I could have kept that. It's, uh, it's fine. I might get, I might get another um, one of the four guys. Yikes! Right, come on. Give me one of those eights. Uh, Tala's decent. Tala's decent. Come on, I got to get some good cards here. Oh my god, I wish I had the, um... I think I've got this? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. Sometimes it's just hard to tell, you know? I always play to, like, just have every card gone. I don't know why. It's such a waste of time. Well, I won anyway. That's pretty good. That was kind of a hard game, actually, compared to uh, some of them. Oh, I got Shelard. I got, um... Guy from, uh, Merchant's Guild. You know, the one that killed... I see you there, I think. In The Witcher 2, remember that? When he stabbed her with the knife? Oh, the music. God damn, man. I, I, I absolutely love it. Do I have a bow? I've got to swim, don't I? God damn it. God damn it. Do I really have to swim? 
There's no boats here, really? Ugh, fine. Maybe I can walk out on the rocks until I get there. And then I can sort of skip a large amount of it. They weren't that far away when they drowned, were they? Like, I, if I can swim there. I guess it was a storm, but... A storm that close to the, um... To the aisle? I'm sure they could just have... I don't know. That's probably how he got back. Now I think about it. I'm always tempted to... I'm gonna save. Um, if there's drowners, you, I feel like you never really know, do you? Like, if a drowner just happens to get a lucky hit on you, then, you know, I probably have to do, redo all that Gwent game and stuff, and it would just be a pain in the ass. All yellers. Needle. Oh, come on. It's because I was trying to... Hang on. See, I'm not sure what the, the red bar underneath um, the signs is. I think maybe it's like... It's like... Sort of like rage? I don't know though. I don't know what it's used for. Maybe I do more damage. As that fills up. I, I don't really know. Drowners are always incredibly loud to fight. They're like um, neckers or foglets. Well, not foglets. Neckers. Like they're really, really loud. Ow. More? I'm taking quite a few hits here. I'm going to try and uh, ultra... How is that guy still alive? I, th I t definitely thought I had him. Okay, well, we'll loot that guy in a minute. Just let me uh, get a bunch of this monster stuff. Okay, a lot of monster stuff. I like it. Uh, how is there another one over there? We're, we'll just ignore him. Um, we'll get we'll get him later. Oh wow, a skull, a note, and a key, huh? The crooked the crooked mast marks the spot, but not just any fool can find the treasure. Oh, it's near as well. Place. Okay, well we found it. That was easy. Um, I need to repair my sword because I know people get annoyed about that one. Okay. I mean, I'll, I've got to look here anyway, so why not? Uh, oh no, hang on. Oh, I could try the horn. No, I, I'm underwater. I think the instant die. There you go. Where is it? The crooked mast. Just down here? Oh. Uh, hang on, this is not the Aki thing. Well, I, I deliver the sword, but I still have um, other stuff. Okay, just 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 deal with that. You know, I don't want that there. Hang on, I might drink some um, some Blizzard or something. What's it called? I think it's called no, not Blizzard. Whale something, killer whale something. <laughs> Wondering what that accomplished, if anything. Time to see Udalric. Hmm. Just give me a second, girl. I'm just gonna I'm gonna check if this is where this treasure is. I got no idea. What does it say? The the mast points to it or something? Oh, the, there's a chest there. That that's probably it. Okay. What have we got? See, two birds, one stone. Amazing. Right, I actually want to go and sell some of this armor. I, I have so much crap now. I, however, I'm not sure, but I think... I think selling the armor to an armorer sells for more. I don't know. It might just be one of those, you know, like... Blowing on a game cartridge. However, the, the blowing on a game cartridge does actually work. So, I don't know. Maybe... It, I don't know. Shut up. Right. Let's kill this drowner. It's not a drowner. It's drowned dead. Same thing. I don't care. God damn it. I meant to use... Right. <laughs> Got him. I'll take all that. Meet Yennefer. What? <laughs> I was just like, what? 4,000 meters away? What's happening? Okay, well, we'll return to Ulrich. Sorry, I just, I like looking at the environment every so often. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay. Amazing. Like, goddamn. Like, I, um, I finished Red Dead 2 recently, and, um, that game was incredible. Like, absolutely incredible. Like, I really loved it, but I, for me, The Witcher 3 just wins. And it, I think it's simply down to the fact it's fantasy, and um, I guess the characters mean more to me, because, you know, I just, I love The Witcher. But I could see why some people might like Red Dead 2 more, you know what I mean? Like, I know some people do. 
I sort of understand it, you know what I mean? But I just, this game is for me more. What is this? Erdlerik. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. What did the gods want exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, "You vile wretch! You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought." Okay. Um, when the gods talk to you. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods don't like light. Have you ever seen them? The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. Okay, the gods... the gods... the <laughs> God, what is happening today? The gods don't like light. Do they always demand an offering of pain? Yeah, we'll see that. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering. Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature, very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. There's the witch's way, you can try to trick it. We'll go with the uh, witch's way first. Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair, with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udelric might not survive. It's very hard to trick a Heim. Um, I guess both. We'll start with that. Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. 
Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you? Hmm. And what about the other method? It's very hard to trick a Heim. The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's Way. So, just to let you know, guys, I do actually know both ways of how this goes, obviously, like I imagine most of you guys do. Um, and I'm trying to consider which way I'm going to go this time, but I'm just going to quickly do this first. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. You're, yeah, she, I'd say she's wrong. Like, in what way? <laughs> like, what? We haven't done anything. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. So to prove you wrong, I gotta do what you say now? As long as my name's not Yennefer, no one will call you henpeck for that. And remember, if we can't think of a good trick, we can still do it your way. Fine, let's try to trick the Heim. Good decision. Haunted house, the Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. Um... Uh, the thing is, with this trick, I, I kind of want to be able to fight the Heim and defeat it. Like, I, I genuinely want to be able to do that. <laughs> like, like that's something I want to do. So I'm, I'm probably going to botch the trick on purpose. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Right. No reason to delay. Yeah, so as I said, just to let you guys know, I'm probably gonna purposely fail the trick because I um I just wanna I, I wanna have some um I wanna have some fun. I don't know. I want I want to be able to fight it. Oh. Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. Damn right it is, Geralt. I want to get that water I missed earlier. Ugh. Sorry, scared the crap out of me. Ooh. An old cradle. Must have belonged to Udalric or Aki. Hmm, I didn't see this before. I must have completely just glanced over it. Yeah, this is what I missed. Uh oh. Okay, well, could have been better. Right, let's go and do the actual thing. <laughs> Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. What are you trying to say, Geralt? The Skelligans don't have solid craftsmanship? Huh? What are you trying to say? Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Where the hell are you? It's so dark. Oh, okay. Come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply got to trust me. No way. <laughs> I'll say I trust you guys. I'm going to purposely fail this, I think. I want to fight the Heim. I want to get that bit of extra out the quest. I think it'll be more fun. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? Sure. I'm ready. All right. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven.
Over there! She's running to the old house! Grab her! Take him. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the bait. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. Sorry, guys. Sarah's had a plan, but we'll do it my way. I'll deal with you later. Let's go. The Hind won't leave on its own. This isn't over! Just made yourself an enemy. I'd have made no such thing if you'd only trusted me. And tossed an infant in the oven? I don't think so. The babe would have been fine. Round back the oven there's another door. I'd have pulled the child out before the flames could even warm him. The Hyam would have thought you'd kill the tyke. It would have abandoned Udelrich. I'd have showed it the babe then, safe and sound. It would have had to go. Hmm, not a bad scheme. Just risky. I'd rather do it the Witcher's way. Let me talk to Udelrich. I'll explain what you wanted, what happened here. What Ceres did, don't hold it against her. She wanted to help banish the voices that haunt you. Help! Casting my babe in an oven! Things will calm down. You'll talk, figure it out. She had the best intentions. Important you know that. Yet she did not win your trust. Because I decided to solve this the Witcher's way. I know what haunts you, whispers in your ear, commands you to hurt yourself. It's neither the gods nor your brother. But I hear it. Clear as a bell. The voice speaks. The voice is that of a Heim. The creature feeds on the guilt you feel for not helping Aki. Good news is we can defeat it. And the bad. We gotta survive a night in its lair. Your old house. No, no, no. That'll end badly. It can't end well. I can feel it. Don't panic. Easy. It'll be alright. Um, hmm. There's no sense in going if you don't stay calm. Jarl, the Witcher is right. He specializes in such matters. He's your only chance. We need to prepare the house first. Light some torches in the main room. Make sure they illuminate every nook and cranny. And then? Then you just need to show up. I'll take care of the rest. Fear not, Jarl. We'll tend to everything. You should rest in the interim. Good idea. Meantime, I'll place the torches. Ceres is so pissed off. I'd have never let your baby hurt, you know that. Yet you almost killed him. It was a trick. We wanted to cheat the creature that haunts you. Not a hair on the tyke's head would have been harmed. There's a door the other side. I'd have pulled the little one out of the oven right away. No flames would have touched him. The Hyam would have told Geralt kill the child. He'd have had to abandon you for the Witcher. But when he saw your son safe and sound, he'd have had to go. So there's a few reasons she just explained literally what happened. Like you did. It's hard to believe any good could have come of it. On the other hand, I've known you since you were a child. You're Crocs, daughter. I know you've never harmed another mindfully. So, uh, give it a minute. <laughs> Let's leave it be. Leave it be. So, yeah, no, as I'm saying, right? That is literally what would have happened um, if we had done that. But I want to do it the witch's way. I feel like if I was Geralt and, you know, my Geralt, would he put a baby in an oven even if it was, like, to save somebody or whatever? I don't think so. I, I don't think he would. Even if it was, like, you know, he even explained it has to be this horrible thing. Obviously, Ceres wouldn't do that. But in that split-second moment, I don't think he would. And, you know, me as a person, I kept on thinking I would have tried to do the clever thing and, like, gone along with it and stuff. But... You know, in that actual situation where you're going to put a baby in an oven, I I don't know if you would, you know? I, and I feel like just because I know what happens if you do do it doesn't mean I just should do it, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I I don't know. I don't know. Right, let's play some torches. 
Number one. Number two. You know, do you guys get what I'm saying? I'm sure you understand what I mean. Also, if we don't get to do all this, the mission would have been over by now, you know? I like doing all this other stuff. It feels way cooler. And you know, all is forgiven. All's fine. I didn't have to kill all his guards, which I think is literally what happens. So, you know, I'm happy about that. And I get to fight at home. So, ready? As Skelliger's always ready. To defeat his foes, or fall in battle trying. Only one to fall today will be the Heim. Need I prepare? What will happen? Better if you don't know, I'll explain. Uh... I'll light the torches in the main room. That and your presence will enrage the Heim eventually. It'll show. That'll be my chance to hurt it. And me? What am I to do? Just hold out. It'll whisper to you, tell you to do things. Could be more intense than usual. Definitely won't try to kill you, though. I'll keep it together. I'll try. That's great. But if it's not enough, if the Heim starts to get to you, I'll use a sign that'll calm you down. So be it. Shall we start? He's like a big botchling. Yeah, let's do it. Let's start. Think pleasant thoughts. Don't let the Heim drag you into guilt. And pray to your gods I'm not wrong. Well, I want to get some, um, some Spectre Oil ready. However, I, I, I should probably just save that till we actually start, you know what I mean? Okay. Right, this is going to be a stressful thing, guys, but we got it. We got it. I just want to kind of cast Igni at the ground and just light them all at once, you know? I wonder. Oh my god, it worked. Ugly bastard. There it is. Oh my god. Hang on, I need some oil. Where's oil? Also, if we um, do the Ceres way, the Heim doesn't actually die, and theoretically it could just go and screw someone else over at some point. Um, so I do actually prefer this way. We have Spectre Oil, right? I made some. Oh my god, I don't have any Spectre Oil. Hangman's Vellum, Elemental Oil, Beast Oil. Oh, yikes. Do I have to do some alchemy? I don't think I have the ingredients. I don't really need it. I can be it anyway. I just thought it might be fun to do the oil, now I remember. No, I don't have... I don't even have Spectre Oil. <laughs> I must have just not made it. Oh, I need some... Okay, I'll make it. I'll make some oils after this, sure. Right now. I'm in the middle of something, though. Okay. Kill the home. Homes are the worst. I can't see anything. It's just like a cloud. Right, I'll calm Ulrich should he um, have a bit of a stress. I'm actually already on low health somehow. I don't think I can set it on fire, can I? Can I moon dust it? That might actually be kind of fun. I want to give it a go. That didn't work. Okay, cool. I just wanted to check. Maybe I can dimeritium it? Oh, what the hell? I got you, mate. I got you, uh, that. I'm trying to use it. How? Calm down. You can do this. Now get back behind the torches. You're fine. You're fine. See, I, I axied you. That was very, very close to not working. I just realized. Oh yeah, I forgot it's night time so my potion doesn't ever run out. That's kind of badass. I love it. The Heim's gone. I can't see it. I saw... saw it sink into the ground. Into the ground? Must have weakened it enough so it hid deep within its lair in the guts of the house. Listen carefully. I gotta go downstairs. Finish off the Heim before it regenerates. Don't move. Okay. Um, where the hell is the... Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. Even close the little trapdoor. Oh, you gotta be so careful. Oh, I'm gonna fall off. Hang on. Ah. Oh. Okay, I did it. I did it. I did it. Okay. That's, that's the biggest challenge of the fight. Getting on the ladder. Uh, it's funny because... See, look, I lit all the torches. It's cool, see? I kind of did that in prep, but also not really. 
I wasn't sure what decision I'd make. I just thought I'd like to do that anyway. Makes things a little bit easier. Out. Kind of curious what effect Igni would have. Oh, it just does a bit of damage. Got it. There's a guy down here? Hello? Um... Okay. Oh, there's loot. Wouldn't have got any of that. Um, see a guy? That is so creepy. Oh my god, that is like... We need to write a legend about him now. The skeleton that just sat under the house for some reason. It's over. Over? I killed the Heim. You're free. Let's get out of here. Well? It worked. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Don't worry, it'll pass. I'll say that first. You're disoriented, but don't worry, it'll pass. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. What will you do? Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker rock? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. Thought we already discussed that. We did. Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. To you too. So long. God damn it, Saris. Got a minute. Uh, I just want to check if I can say anything. Well, we did it, guys. Badass. I'm just going to set it to daytime. There's a few more things I obviously want to do in this part. Some actual quests, too. I want to do some contracts. But I want to get some of these markers. And there is one up there. I have no idea how to get there. King's Gambit. There we go. That's close to the end of the Skelliger section, if you think about it. We've got King's Gambit. We just have to finish the Yennefer quests, if you think about that. The uh, remaining sort of few Yennefer quests. There's a, there's a house down here? Oh. Sure, why not? We took some essence. How do I get round? I'm just gonna make a save. Um, maybe I can actually go up this way to get the uh, stuff on that top bit. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, um, amazing. Right. Um, a whole platter. Oh, I think there was actually an entrance out the back here, now I think about it. Or am I thinking of a different door? I think I'm thinking of a different door. Surely there's a way I can get up. Why is why is that still making the noise? I wonder if that guy's still down there. Should I check? Can I jump down? I really... Okay, I can just use the ladder. That creepy-ass guy. Oh my god, he's still there! What are you doing? Ah! <laughs> what the hell? There's two of them? This is so weird. Okay, let's just let's just leave them to have. They're duplicating. Okay, they're breeding. They're like rats. These skeletons. Okay, that's so weird. Um, how do I get? How do I get there? I have no idea how to get. There's like there's like a path outside the back of this house that I can't get to. Like, do you see what I'm looking at here? Like out this way. There must be a way to get there. I'm sure I could just like... S s oh, that's not going to work, is it? How do I get up there? You see what I'm looking at? 
I'm sure I could do... Oh, we did it, we did it! Oh my god, I actually did it! No way! Yes! I'm actually kind of curious as to how you're supposed to get up here normally, because I, I just glitched the hell out of that one. Really glitched it. I even jumped over, see? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have a look, I'm gonna go back that way and see. Even if there's a marker or something, I'm kind of curious. Okay, well we can go up here, that's cool. I'm curious, I'm guessing it's gonna be like a place of power, because it's high up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> See? Every place of power is just high up place or in the middle power. of a wood. Should draw from it. Oh, look at the view, though. So there is actually an achievement, sorry, there's actually, an, there's actually an achievement to get all of the place of power activated at once, like for each sign, so I might try and do that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for just every achievement in the game. Um, I think I might be a bit stupid. I mean, I, I, could, I might, but it feels kind of, like, pointless. Uh, at least, you know, to do on, like, recording. But, you know, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe that'll be, like, a part towards the end. I'll just be like, you know what? I'm just going to get everything done. So how the hell are you supposed to get here? Oh, you meant to go round the house? What? No, you... Ah, well, I found the way. Um... I don't know what just happened. I guess that was the only way you were meant to get there, just by glitching it out. I have no idea. Oh, well, I made it. Cool. So, we have another marker that I want to grab down here. There's a cave or something. And then there's a marker over there. And then those markers. There's so many Skelligan markers. That's going to probably take me a long time to do, you know? Like, I'm going to just have to go and do absolutely loads at some point. Maybe I could do, like, a contract or a, a few contracts. And then just do a couple markers and then end the part there. I feel like that's probably the best thing to do. I've got to get them done at some point. Oh, locked. Cool. Okay. I kind of want to get Roach in on this, but i, I got to get a bit further down, I think, first. But no, what I actually want to do in today's part, which I... You know what? I might do it next. I might do it um, before I bother doing any of the markers. I'll do this one marker that's actually on the aisle, and maybe the one that's just out. No, I won't even bother. I'll just wait till I get a boat and then go do loads. But I want to go and get the uh, bear upgrades, because I'm getting closer and closer to that level 25, I think. So um, I want to get that I want to get that just there, so I can just go and do it when I need to. And I can get that awesome upgrade of the bear armor. I like it though, I think we're um, we're definitely doing well. We're getting better and better. There's a guy there. A hunter, huh? Do you sell stuff? Go back where you come from. Okay. God damn it. Okay. I've never really explored this isle that much, uh, Speaker Og. Never really bothered in the past. I've sort of I've I've sort of done the marker. It's cool though, it's Obviously similar to a lot of the Skeleton Isles, but it has its own unique sort of... It's almost like a gorge I'm going through right now. Oh, there's a thing. This must be it. Oh, no. How do you know? Not good. Oh shit. That is literally just what I did not want to happen. Oh, you little bitch. Don't even try. Okay, that that was that was very dangerous. I should have been way more careful with that axe guy. Why is it so glitchy today? Come on, I got a... Come on, g get out, get out. Get out of there, you. Okay, kind of got him out. I have no idea what is going on. It's so glitchy today. Like, people are just walking in and out of walls. <laughs> this guy's just spawning. Maybe this area, is, as, as I read in that... Oh, hang on. Oh, delicious. All his hair went off him. I like that. Oh, some hide, some leather. We're going to do some loosing now. Got a marker too, so, you know, convenient. Um, Some wolf hide, sure. The hide's all good, you know, it's all good. 
last guy. Okay. I need to go and sell some armor and swords and stuff. I actually, I wonder how good the armor was that I found. Is that what I found? I have no idea. I don't know. Okay, well, let's have a look here then. So I want to get the bear upgrade one. That's upgrade two. That, yeah, that's the one. So I don't know where it all is, but I'll have a look. I'm assuming it's in Skellige. I think the Grand Master stuff, or the Master Crafted even, is in um, Velen, but I think I might have already got it ages ago. Okay, so we're here. And there is actually a marker up there that I would like to grab on the way. I guess we'll grab that first and then go and get that marker. So I'm just going to go and do all that now. I have obviously some more markers and all the rest to grab. Uh, I'm not going to bother fighting these guys. I already fought them like a hundred times. They just keep on respawning. It's pointless. Why are there people? Ah, oh, screw off. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not helping them. I've already. I've already killed those guys like five times. Like um, when I, when I had died, I had to do it once. I actually. Well, like, uh, you know, another time, I think I've done... I think that must be, like, the fourth time in this playthrough if I had to kill them then. Okay, Roach, I'm going to need you to uh, help me get through this place a bit more quickly. No, but I want to get the bear upgrade stuff just while I, you know, while I remember, because then I could just go and get it done quickly. However, I'm not really sure where in Skelliger I can get the armor made. I, I guess... No, I guess I can get it made at um, Kertrolder, right? Because it's not the... Uh, Mastercrafted yet, and I think that's when I need to get the tools and stuff. Oh, yeah, I did forget to get the tools last time. I, I guess I could do that this time. Oh, we got Al Ghouls. God damn it, game. Okay. Why is my health perpetually low? Oh, I guess I got hit by the, the drowners? I don't even know. Right. Haven't I already been here? I like that silver. Shitty shit. I'll do anything. I guess I need to axe them individually. This is horrible. You know what? Give me that. I'm just gonna igni spam him. Literally just igni spam. That's not working. I just need I I think I do just need to axe them when I can, individually. How the hell am I supposed to get them one by one? Ow. Okay, I got I got a couple. God fucking damn it, he didn't have the spikes out. Okay, well I I hurt a few of them. That was actually way easier than I was making it out to be. Um, <laughs> that they really just crumbled when I uh, when I did that. Okay, we, we killed quite a lot of them. Damn, look at all that. So there is this is actually classed as a monster nest. Aha, bear. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Good idea, Geralt. Huh. Let's have a look. I thought I might light the torch. Ow. Is that another Al Ghoul? God damn it, I'm just trying to kill them before they activate that annoying thing. Hang on. Okay, they're just gonna restore all their health. I gotta, I gotta get rid of that. And then I gotta get rid of the, off the other one while he's just prancing around for some reason. Okay, we got him, we got him. There's another one.
Whew. Any more? Okay, I think they're done. Algols, uh, Algols drop a lot of uh, stuff, don't they? Okay, that was kind of trash. Um, there we go. We got the enhanced sword now. That's that one off the list. I think there's nothing else in here. Cool. Right, where's the next one? I think I've got to get um, just, I guess, everything else. The armor, the um, the other weapons and stuff. I think I already have the crossbow, but I'm, I'm not really sure, to be honest. I think I had to get that when I first found just initial bear stuff, so. I'm going to go to the other marker, and then I may have to leave it, depending on the level. All I know is that probably by the time I leave Skelliger, I'll have to do all the other markers. And with, um... Okay, Roach, fine. I'll walk. Um, and with everything else, in, like, you know, Novigrad and stuff... I basically have to do every marker that isn't on the right side of the map. <laughs> and then, because those are Hearts of Stone. that That's what I gather. And then I can do those in Hearts of Stone content. But no, we're doing pretty well. I know there's none, no Hearts of Stone content in Skellige, I'm pretty sure. Uh, as in, there might be like an NPC that appears or something, I don't know. But like, there's there's no markers, is what I mean. But no, we're going to go and do this marker first, depending on what level it is. And then we'll go and get the rest of the bear armor. We're going to get the boots, and then I guess it's just everything at once. I think we might have already found the sword or something. Hang on. Yeah, fuck that. Um, see you guys later. Uh, I'm just going to run away bravely, of course, as the Witcher does. Maybe get to that marker. Amazing. There's actually a there's actually a signpost here. Okay, well we got that. Let's have a look. Where else? We've got one down there. We can actually We could start up here, then head down and pick up that those two markers and then loop back round to go up that pathway to get that one and then even maybe do that. I don't know. I feel like it's good just to get markers, you know, as earlier on, because there are so many in Skelliger. Skelliger must have the most markers in the Witcher 3 out of areas, now I think about it. Like, we did a lot in Novigrad and Felon. Like, we had, a, a, like, maybe, like, two parts or something. Or maybe a, maybe just one, I'm not sure. Of just collecting them. And then we didn't even get to do half of them because they were too high level. And then we also did the same with Velen, obviously. Because we did we did um the uh, Velen one before I attempted to do the Novigrad one. Like, anything south of the Pontar, wasn't it? Come on. That's it, Roach. So, no, it is it definitely is one of those things that, like... I, I kind of feel as if... It's a lot to do, but once you've done it, you've got every marker in the game and you have completed the game. I, I know I know it's a whole thing about, oh, well, you, if you're not getting all the achievements, you haven't won. But it's like, you know, shooting 50 different non-humans and humans or whatever in the head with a crossbow does not feel like something that you're supposed to do. <laughs> As in, it's an achievement to do it, but it it's not like, oh, you haven't completed the game because you haven't shot 50 people in the head. It's like, well, that's kind of ridiculous. You know, it's just little kind of fun things you can do as opposed to... Uh, actual content in the game to complete you know what i mean oh shit me okay this this is possible if i could get off the horse okay hey cyclops we have one of you at care more but he's a bit older and i guess more powerful i don't know get burnt play with the witch you're gonna get burnt look how much damage ow I just wanted to kill him. I took a hit. I, I just, I was so close. I get greedy. But uh, you know what? I, I'm fine with that, actually. Ooh, look at that. New sword. See, that's why you gotta do the markers, guys. He killed a deer and everything, and then we just nicked his sword. I like that. That's, that's the witch's way. That's the true witch's way. Not killing a Heim for helping a guy out. You know, killing a defenseless Cyclops who's just been killing deers and nicking swords, you know? That is the witch's way. That's, that's my way. <laughs> See, I honestly think with just these C markers, we're just going to have to, like, start, I don't know, like, in this top corner. And just go around and get all of them up there. Then go back around and go and get all of them. And then go and do that. Do it kind of like a big zigzag across the map. God, I could totally do that. That would take forever, but I could totally do that. 
It would just be like marker to marker to marker to marker to marker to marker. I could get some of that done today. I don't even have to do the mission, so I might just do that. I feel like I want to do some contracts, but I also want to get the markers done because I know that's just going to be a pain. I'm just leaving it later and later and I'm not doing any. I might do that now. I might go and do what I described. I do like doing them. There's always like unique things at them and it's always an interesting experience. So, you know, I'd like to give it a look and a go. I mean, I've got like half an hour, so I could try and get quite a few done. I'm sure I could get more done than you'd think. There is a lot of them, but they're very close together. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, my radio is on. I turned it back on midway through like a cutscene or something because I thought it's actually getting kind of That's cold. It, Roach. Yeah, yeah. See, possible. Let me off. Oh my god, Jesus, guys. I'm getting off my horse. Ooh, that was close. Okay. I'm gonna kill that bastard. Hang on. <laughs> Why are my swords constantly breaking? I guess I'm, I should probably go and get just straight up repaired. What? Lost your nerve? Oh come on! I totally had the right. There you go. I know I can axe. I'm just wanting to try a bit of a. Uh, Oh, come on. Okay, well, I lived. So, I want to I wanna be put, like, a few of them on. I don't know. Maybe that just wasn't enough. That didn't really seem to do anything. I think that fully repaired them. I don't know. <coughs> I couldn't repair the other one, so. I there we go, Geralt. He said it. He said the line, guys. Anything else here? Oh, I do need to get some um, stuff for the oils, don't I? I completely forgot about that. I need to start collecting herbs whenever I can. Thing is, I know there's a lot of herbs that... Um, I call them herbs because that's how Geralt says it. But there's a lot of herbs that, you know, they don't really... Um, they don't really use worth getting, you know? Okay, well, we got that marker. I think we just went and got, like, a few. Yeah, that's cool. Then we can go up and get this marker and then go and get the... Uh, oh, is that, like, a cave below? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna walk. I'm not that far away. I think Roach is not gonna cope well on the hill either. Okay. A little mountain goat. I love how there's goats just on a random hill in the middle of nowhere. There is just a goat. That is badass. Oh, it looks like it's up there. Maybe it's a place of power because it's up high, guys. What do you think? Almost there. We'll get there. We're not going to slide all the way down. There you go. <laughs> Place of power. Oh. Should draw from it. Mm -hmm. I tell you, we're probably getting a lot of ability points from doing this. I mean, the thing is, I don't have any slots left. I guess you should just kind of invest in stuff that you want to get more things in. So, for example, I have, what is this? I got Ard, so I could, if I put more, if I put four more points just into this branch, I don't know what I'd get, though. Um, then I could get that, which just makes my stamina better, I guess. Reflects 5% of absorbed damage back to the attacker. God damn, that's actually really, really good. Thing is, do I want to go for, like, a full-on sign build? I kind of like the whole sort of the mix of stuff I've got at the moment. I think it's like it's like the um, the Jack of All Trades build. I'm, I'm calling it that now. <laughs> you wear the bear armor so you can use potions like Swallow and Tawny Owl. Then you get some decent coin stuff out, out there, you know? Maybe I'll do like different builds as the game goes on. Who knows? So that's, that's the way over the mountain, right? Yeah, that's if I want to go over, but I don't. I want to go down there. I could always come back up this way, you know? I'm always scared going down the hill, but I'm going to be a big boy and not click the save button for you know, for the first time before doing something dangerous. God, I'm drinking this drink and it's like getting stuck in my throat. Which I know sounds weird, but it's, um, <clears throat> it's like... Okay, I, sw I swear to God that farting noise wasn't me. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, let me get a coffee. I need to get a coffee, okay? I need coffee. I need something to, like, that will go down well. Okay, I'm back. I got my coffee. 
Okay, let's go in this cave. I have no idea if I'll skip that or not, but if I didn't, there you go, guys. What a treat. What the hell? Why is it now timed underneath the saves? I don't know. Maybe that's because it's today I did it? Oh, hang on. I've got to look at the bear thing and say you should look around more, right? Hmm. I want to look around some. Mm hmm. Let's have a look then. Um, a cave with monsters, probably. I do need to have a rest what? after this. Eat you. Is that a troll? Goulash. Okay, I'm not being a big boy. Necrosis. Much onion. Are these the guys from The Witcher 2? They sound so similar. Onion, what he must be. <laughs> ah. Scared. Plug. Okay. Hello, trolls. Oh. I don't want to kill you guys. They're throwing poo at me. Hang on, I have I have Ogroid or whatever oil, right? Is that what they are? I think that's what they are. Let me have a look. Beast oil, Ogroid, there you go. Oh my god, they do so much damage. I gotta fight three trolls? Stop throwing poo at me! What is all this? I've got all of this like statistics on my, my, <laughs> look how many things I've got. I've got like three potions, hang on. How do I avoid that? This is horrible. This is actually horrible. I got bleeding. I think I just need to keep Quen on for this. I'll kill Jesse first. Hang on. This is horrible. Hang on. That was an accident. Okay, I got one. I feel bad killing them, but they did just kind of attack me. My oils run out. God damn it. Why is Dodger so hard to- God damn it! How do I- how do I avoid that? I have to do it like the last second or something. I can lock on. I don't want to do that. Okay, I got poison. Okay, we got him. Troll hide, huh? Okay, I do feel kind of bad about that, but I think they did kill someone, from what I could hear. And then he- Pooed himself, you know? That's what it sounded like to me. Um, let's have a look around here. There's a lot of stuff. It's a troll cave. An emerald? Sure. Ooh. It's like a whole little bit back here. Just want to get everything, you know? There you go. I think I've got everything. I've sort of been around the whole cave. Okay, well that was a cool little, um, see this is what I want about guys, like, I know this technically like I'm going to a, a thing, but it, it was, it's kind of like, that's what markers can be like. Little trolls having conversations and you just go and kill them all because why not? And uh, yeah, fun, fun things like that, fun family activities. Okay, well we did that now. Um, I'm sort of wondering whether or not I should, there's a merchant down there, what the hell? I'm wondering whether I should go back up and just sort of clear these while I'm here. But also, you know what, I think I think before I do too many of these markers, I should try and get some uh, contracts out the way, actually, now I think about it. Because the problem is, right, if I, if I do the markers and then end up, like, doing contracts early, then it is just annoying as hell. And it, it will happen, because I'm going to try and go to a few of them. But what I'm going to do is maybe just back save, like, go back a save if that doesn't happen. You know, and then I can avoid that marker. 
Is that a wolf for people? I thought I heard talking. Yeah, well, I'll just I'll go and get this final bit of armor now, and then we'll have all them, so then we can just make the armor when we need to. I do plan to make the other armor at some point. I don't know when, um, but I, I know that at some point I just, you know, I will. Like as in the cat armor and the griffin armor and the, um, I guess every other armor, there's a lot. Cat armor, griffin, viper, eventually, manticore, obviously the bear, which I'm in the middle of doing. Wolf, I guess that'll be in Care Morn. I guess that'll be our Care Morn armor, because we're using the bear because it's Skelliger, right? That's like the thing. There is a sign. Apparently, there's a there's a notice spot up there we haven't done. We'll do that after. I'll have a quick look. I swear I'd been to all of them. Maybe, maybe like a new thing has come out. Like a mission is now available. I know there's the King's Gambit, but I don't want to do that yet. Okay. Oh, it's this bit with the drowners, right? <laughs> I, heard, I think these are quite high level. Hmm. Oh, there's something in here. Maybe people? I want to look around some. Might want to look around some. Sure, Geralt, sure. We've almost got all of it now. I mean, I imagine most of it we'll find just from doing the uh, markers, right? That's what I'm assuming, which is why I'm not really going for it. But if there's an armor set I actually want, I do just want to grab it, right? Like, I'm not just going for all of it. There is, there's a, there's a thing. Sure, why not? I'll just gather the ingredients, you never know. I saw a thing up there. Oh, there's not a way through. There'll be a way around here. I might have to have some cat or something, I can't see anything. So there's a way up there, but I'm assuming that might be like the way back or something. How do I get, how do I get through? Ah, okay. I'm just gonna quickly have an, uh, just an hour's sleep or something. Cause I'm, I'm low on every potion. There you go. Let's have a look here. There's a mark thing. Ah, uh, there's some more, some more things. Oh my God, we got some Cured draconid leather. That is so good. We need loads of that eventually. That is like one of the most expensive items in the game. Oh. Oh, it's we the fat guy. Again. So, you change your mind. Want to hunt the Rosbard brothers with me? Easy coin for you. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we can hunt them together. Run. Let's get going then. I picked up their trail. It shouldn't be far. Wait, what, what level is this? Sorry, like what? 26, that's a bit high. I'm kind of here though, and I feel like I should. Hang on, wait there, mate. Is that a Bernard breastplate? Is that, is that the one out of The Witcher 2? Huh. Cool. I think it's a little bit different. Well, it's quite a bit different, but still it looks nice. Sorry, mate, I'm just looting everything. You want to go right? I want to go left. How about that? Oh, no, I don't. Wait, hang on. No, I don't. Okay, well, we are doing a mission, guys. See, it happened. Um, I don't want this guy to die. Not on my watch. They're really high level. Hunt the brothers. If that hits me, I'm probably dead, you know? Cats helping? I don't even know. Oh. I mean, I literally killed all of them. I'm just saying. Went well, I thought. Maybe you'd consider working together for a spell. Seems you have a gift for this kind of work. Thanks. Once is enough. So long. Thanks, Mr. Fret. Oh, nice. Well, that wasn't that hard. That was much easier than I thought. You know what? I'm going to take the swords. I can sell them. I, I got to go to... um. What's it called? I got to go to a city soon anyway, I think. 
Well, we got all the upgrades. I'm happy about that. I'm, I'm, I know what the level is. I'm just checking again, just because why not? So we have it all. I just want to let's have a look at that armor we just got. I'm, I'm curious as to how much better it is. Uh, there you go. I can also make it when I want to. It's level 25, and it has 160, which is like quite, quite a lot more than ours. I don't know how much more. Like 15 more. 25 more. 25 more is actually quite a lot. That's a big upgrade. And then also we have like the upgrade across the board. That would be incredible when we can actually use it. I mean, we're already at a point where we're like... We haven't really died to anything legitimately for a while, I feel like. Hang on, what am I doing? I know I can go the other way and just jump off. No, but what I'll do now is I'll go and... Um, I'll head back. I'll probably be able to fit a contract in today, because as I said, I feel like it is better to do the contracts than do all the uh, markers. Just because I, I don't know which markers might end up being a contract, because I might just happen to forget one, you know what I mean? It, it happens. So we have Yennefer on Hindisfjall to do at some point. Let's have a look at some contracts here. Uh, we have King's Gambit. I don't want to do that yet, because that kicks into a, a big old quest line. Uh, Iron Maiden. I guess I want to do that. I guess I'll do the Iron Maiden. Um, we have... Without a Trace. All this stuff is like... Yeah, I want to do the Gwent thing, but I guess I'll be doing that, you know, after Care Morn <laughs> when we go back. We have Witcher Contracts. We have the Dragon. Oh, no, maybe before. We do actually go there before. Yeah, we actually do go there before. Yeah, we have some contracts here. Not loads. I'll just do a couple of them, and then I guess I'll do Markers. Or I'll do the Yennefer thing. The thing is, I feel like I should do some markers before I do the Yennefer stuff. Because then I'm just going to have pure markers for ages. And I feel like I should kind of spread out the quests a bit. Like, today I've only done the uh, Ceres one. But it's quite a big quest, you know? It's not like it's a small quest. Hang on, I need to... um Set that today. I might go to that herbalist and just buy a bunch of herbs. Um, and get all the ones that I need. I Have I not... um Hang on. What do you need? I don't care. Are you... Okay, so I have pointed this guy. I must have been here before. I can't remember why, though. Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> Which island am I on? <laughs> okay, so we're on Har... We got Harvick in there. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have been here. I guess I could do the markers while I'm here, too. As I said, just getting them out of the way. Oh. What? Oh! What's the matter? Maybe troll to me, brothers. Mikael and Ulf sailed to Hindusfjall to fetch Agda. Weddings in but a few days, but they've yet to return. A storm broke while they were gone. I fear it might have blown them onto the rocks at Faro. Many have lost their lives there. I'll sail out to find them, I would, but I've got to make sure the wedding's proper prepared. They say it's not fitting for a Skelliger to ask for aid, but I've no choice. Will you help me? Will you seek out my kin? Um, yeah, sure, definitely. Fine, I'll look around for them. Well, we're on Pharaoh, right? Or Pharaoh? I think it's Pharaoh. I, I thought it was Pharaoh. I've got, a, I've got to beat Gundar. You Gundar? I. Heard you fought Yuta. Heard you fought Yuta. And she bested me. But there's no dishonor in losing to her. Though it is a shame. Why? It were a fair fight. One worth remembering. But if I'd won, I could have presented her an altogether different sort of challenge. <laughs> Seemed a little unapproachable to me. <laughs> she awaits a man she can't defeat. In fact, she's declared that only a man who beats her can hook to woo her. Interesting way to look for a husband. <laughs> Not sure it's marriage she's after. Ah, uh, a lass like that's one in ten thousand. Um, I want to fight you. <laughs> I want to fight you. Why me exactly? Asking out of curiosity, given you're a foreigner. All right. Yuda said she'd fight me if I defeated you. Yuda said that? Means that if I win, she'll give me another chance. Well, come on, let's do this. You step outside the ring, you lose. Got it? 
Oh, crap. Let's do this. I will defeat you, Gundar. It's the last thing I can do. Damn. God fucking damn, I... Okay, hang on. It's so hard to get these time blocks sometimes. It just doesn't work. It's like I'm doing it the same every time. Can't hit him. Stop it, Gunda! Asshole! Okay, hang on. Fine, I can do that too. See? See, I can just... I can just wait for you to attack and do that. See? Not nice, is it? Okay, he literally does it every five seconds. I gotta just sweat there. Oh my god, I set him on fire. All right. Enough. You fight well. Not well enough. Good luck with Utah. I am not sure how well I'm going to do against Utah. I beat you though, Gundar. Sorry about that. Um, amazing. Well, I beat him. Absolutely incredible. Let's go and see Utah. Ah, oh, I have to walk. Okay, fine. Fine game. You want to make me walk? I'll do it. I'll do it. I want to go and do these three first, though, just while I'm here, you know? Like, they're there. They're right there. There's also a marker over across that I'd like to do. And then I can go back and do the Utah thing. You know? you got to vary these things. you got to make it as varied as possible. you got to try and spread it out. you got to... God fucking damn it. Okay, hang on. I will, sw I will swim and go around. It is fine. There is no issue here. See, I am chill. I am completely calm. There is no problem. Okay, hang on. Let me go. God damn it, game! Okay. It's all right. I can glitch my way up this hill. I got a bald mountain. That's all right. I glitched too much. Okay. I'll tell her in a minute. I keep on seeing that thing, and I'm like, oh, I'll do it in a minute, game. Come on. Oh, there's the birds. Oh, I, I love this world. It's so awesome. Oh, no. None of that game. Come on now. Okay, we made it. A guarded treasure. Let's hope it's not level 30. Maybe it's my level. That would be amazing. Perfect. Hey. The Igni strap will work forever. Okay, hang on. Oh. I burn literally every time. I have no idea why. I think my sign intensity must be really good. Right. Got him. I got hit a couple times, but you know what? Can't be helped. Well, it could be helped, but I don't want to help it. I'm going to blow my horn. Fuck you, sirens. Go away. Do I have to kill them? Are they just going to, like, watch me? Are they just collapsed? What is going on? Yo, what's up? I'm trying to... I'm clicking X. What the hell? My breastplate's broken, apparently. That was amazing. <laughs> hey, stay back down there. Hey! Hit him with that. I clicked X! I You can even see I clicked X because it hit him. Or her. What? I don't care. God damn it. It doesn't work. It works sometimes. I think it like gives you the option, but you have to be like right next to them for it to work. Why can't I loot this? Oh, whatever. Okay, we're going to get this monster thing. 
Oh my, I'm like really low on everything. Oh, I actually probably have armor repair kits. I just realized, what am I doing? I always just assume, oh yeah, I gotta go back to the guy and get it repaired, but no. My armor hasn't broken in a long time though, to be fair. I'm sort of, I don't really want to use too many. I did it on that, oh no, I'm carrying, hang on, I can drop some terrible swords, it's fine. Where's that pickaxe I picked up earlier? <laughs> Probably not the best use of carry weight. Uh, that'll do. We we we'll got six carry weight for dropping all of that. Sure. Oh, I didn't loot the cyclops. Wow. Okay. Well, we dealt with that. Where's the next marker? Up here. And then we'll go back round and um, see Yutta, which is going to be awesome. I'll go to this marker, then I'll cut across that island. I'll do that. I'll cut back across, do that final marker, then go back and see her. Um, and then I might end today. I might just get that part wrapped up all nice in a little bow, you know? I've done the Iron Maiden quest. I Oh yeah, just in case anyone's wondering, I'm not gonna sleep with Yutta. You know, we uh, even though we uh, deny everything Sarah said with a, you know, with a passion, um, Yennefer is the one for us. Just because we like someone doesn't mean we're whipped, you know? Okay, I don't think this is a realistic expectation. Uh, how did I survive that? I don't even know. Roll! Damn it, Geralt. Okay, I'm gonna have to go around. Um, should I just go across now? How close am I? Oh, I've gotta go up there. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I didn't realize how far away that was. I thought it was just like slightly across. I guess I was really zoomed out before. Oh, come on. I can get up here, surely. That looks fine. Yeah, see, look. See, look, 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 it's fine. See, see what I was saying, guys? Hang on. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 no, no, no. Okay, right, I'm just going to go around. I'm just literally wasting time. I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just spending more time. It's like you want to do something the quick way, but then you actually spend more time doing it that way than you would normally. It's this, the way of video games. We'll go and grab this marker. Slow and steady wins the race, as they say. Sometimes. Most of the time. Like, 90% of the time. No, maybe like 75% of the time. <coughs> Pardon me. Unless it's a sprint. I don't think that would really work. Oh, place of power. I guess it is up high. Oh. Hey. Medallion's humming. Hmm. Greetings, Wanderer. You're safe and sound. That's good to see. It's this guy Hello. again. Still on your pilgrimage? Indeed. And by each of Hendel's faces, I pray the gods grant you grace. Nice. Well, thanks, man. I remember he we saved him from those bandits, so right? And stay out of trouble. I mean, we did kill the bandits, but we did save him from the bandits. That is that is the takeaway. Um. So we have one more marker to get on uh, Faro? Faro? How do, I don't even know how to say it. And then we've done Faro, or Faro. And we have a few little isles around here, obviously. All that stuff. We'll get a boat. We'll just go around. We'll have a lovely Skelligan Sea voyage. Oh my god, I don't even want to deal with that. Um, I'm going to just run past them. You know what? I'm going to just run past them. I don't need to kill them. Okay, now he's pissed me off. I would have let you live. I would have let you live. I would have let you live your bug life. I didn't have to kill you. But now you and your friend die because you whipped me with your tail as I was just walking past doing my own thing. You know what? I'm going to kill your friend here too. They weren't even involved in the the fight. I don't even care if they hit me. It doesn't even matter. You know, when it says set 10 individuals on fire and then also poison them and then also give them bleeding, I wish I could just do that to myself in the game. Oh, and there's another one? Yeah, all of them die. That's what's happening now. They actually do drop some pretty good loot. <laughs> like, mutagens and stuff, all useful. I think I need the mutagens for when we're in Toussaint, right? M mutagens, how am I saying it right? Uh, for when we're in Toussaint for that machine, right? I, I think I need them. I think I deconstruct them or I combine them or some shit. I don't even know. It was, it's been a long time since I did that. Like, a long, long time. Like years. L literal years. 
Also, how are you flying? That's right, you piece of filth. Oh, there's a, there's a guy here. Ah, oh, cool. No, we hit the. Sorry, no, no, we hit the, we hit the treasure. Hit it here. No one's gonna find it. Not in a million years. Writing exactly where and how would be plain foolish. So let's just say it's high time you return to your old puffin hunting grounds. Yeah, to our old puffin hunting grounds. As soon as you join us, we shall we sail to the continent. We gotta hurry. They say Yora swore to the gods he wouldn't rest till he found us. Played us and took us back. Took back his treasure. Hypocrite bastard. He could have split. We could have split. He could have split it evenly, like we first agreed. But no, he wanted to cheat us, and then he got what was coming to him. Fucking weasel, Vrog. Uh, P.S. When you get here, keep your sword at the ready. Those are dangerous waters. Where is it? I'm going. I can't track it. Hidden something. Is that a treasure hunt? Uh, apparently not. Um, second request? Witch up contract? <laughs> sure. I, how did I get that? Did, have I already like looted it accidentally during a marker? I probably found it with a marker. I'm 100% when I did a marker at some point, I just found it. Interesting. Where the hell am I? Let me let me get down. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna have the killer whale. Um, kind of concerned about this whole thing. Does not bode well. What the hell? Where even am I? This is absolutely horrible. There's nothing in here. I'm, maybe I've been here before? I don't know, though. What the f What the fuck? Fuck that. Okay, remember there was a venomous Arrakis in this cave? Everyone make a note of that and be sure to remind me when I hit 31. I'm sure one of you will. <laughs> Hopefully one of you will. Jesus Christ. Okay. So there is something down there. I, I guess I must have already done the quest. Maybe maybe there is something to just grab down there. I don't know. I must have not been there. I don't even know. What is that? Okay. Well, we'll head back to Yutta now. Just checking if there's a quicker way. I think the quickest way is just to walk or ride Roach. Probably probably ride Roach. I don't know, though. This is a pretty... um. Uh, I'm not fighting any more of them, all right? Hey, wolves. Oh, fine. Fucking moving out of the way every fight. Right, it's fine. Stop fighting me, wolves. I'm in the middle of trying to get to see Yutta, the Iron Maiden of um, fighting. Sure. We, we fought her guy that liked her, I guess, so now we get to fight her. That's how it works. Hey, guys, I just went and did some markers. How you doing? Oh. Hey. Hang on, there's a there's a there's a dude here. I gotta check because I I know I came to all the I bought like a bunch of maps, so I'm actually not sure if I've been oh, here before. I'm pretty sure I oh no, this is the guy that almost beat me. I don't even know. They use a lot of the same NPCs again. I have no idea. Yeah, thanks. Okay, a little goose. Sorry. What? I'm just gonna get my health up to full, and then I'll probably wait or something. Nice. Did you just try and shoot me? I think it's just that hunter from before. Almost there. Anything to loot here? I think I already looted here. I literally think I'm just, like, repeating exactly what I've done ages ago. Not on purpose, obviously. I'll finish this quest and I think I'll stop for today. But, um, yeah, well, obviously I want to finish it. Okay, give me a second. Let's just wait an hour. A 
it's not too late. Okay. Apologize, and I'll spare you. I'm gonna make a save what again. Spare me as your lips, Sven. Enough of this talk. Okay. Um. So what is she to you? The sorceress, Yennefer, right? What? Greetings, White One. How do you know about Yennefer? Uh, okay, sure. I defeated Gundar. Hmm. Thought you'd be no match for him. All right. We'll see how you fare against me. Let's do it. Ready when you are. Then let's start. May Freya choose the victor. Sure. Um, your friend was really good at like parrying me, so I'm just gonna do that to you. Cause that's cool. Um, yeah, it kind of sucks. Yeah, it's annoying. It's an annoying tactic. You did that way quicker than I was expecting. Okay. Try it again. Go on. Okay. I'm actually kind of worried now. Can I drink my potion or will she have a hissy fit? Okay, I did it. Sure. Not surprised you have a hard time finding worthy opponents. In the end, one came along. Where'd you learn all that? I mean, the uh, the other guy was way harder. <laughs> but sure, all right. At Care Morin. Care Morin? That's terribly far. But you learned a great deal on the road as well, surely. Would you tell me about it? It'd make for a long story. All right. We need a quiet spot, some good mead, and what do you say? I hope this doesn't just enter me into like. I don't want to. I don't want to sleep with her. Okay, that's what I want to get across right now. I don't want to. I don't want to betray Yennefer, obviously. But I, I, I would like to have some mead. Is this is this just going to put me into like? I guess I can check and always go back on the save. Uh, oh fuck, I'm just gonna see, but I'm gonna... Please, please no. Gladly. See you at the inn. Too rowdy. Come to my home in Harvican. I'll be waiting after dusk. See you later then. So what is she I swear to God, if this makes me sleep, like, I know you're like, oh, don't be such a bitch, but it's because of Yennefer, okay? I spent all of The Witcher 2, um... I spent... Shut up. I said no to Triss in this game. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, I said no to Triss in The Witcher 1 towards the end, but then I guess it just reset at the start, so I kind of thought, fuck it for the whole game. I think I think that's the basic gist. But then in this game, I've been very... I said no to Kira. You know, I, I did. I, I've been pretty restrained. You know, I've been good. I'm not sure what's going to happen with Shani, because, you know, I think that's, you know, that's, that's a thing. Okay. After dusk. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Um... Okay, it is dusk. They're still fighting. God, long fights. Yota? Oh no. Yeah, I just want to have mead and chat. Um, I could sit on the chair. I could sit on the chair if you want. Can I have your rye? Badass. Greetings. I started to think you changed your mind. I'd never miss a chance to spend a pleasant evening with you. I don't know that I'll make for engaging company. In truth, I rarely talk to men. Why don't you... We don't have to... No, I don't want to say that. Come on. Rarely? Why? Well, I don't like to waste time chatting before fights. And after them, I've none left to talk to. And now that I've finally met someone stronger, seems Freya's played a cruel trick on me. What's Freya got to do with it? I swore to the goddess that only he who bested me in battle would lie with me, take me as his wife, and give me children. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. Wrong guy beat you, unfortunately. Yes, I know. Witchers aren't husband material, nor can they sire children. But it was you who bested me. And I'm sure many warriors in Skellige are worthier of your attention than I am. One would be enough. 
Never thought of searching the other isles? Hmm. You could be right. I believe it may be time to leave Pharaoh. Well, good luck, Utah and Dimon. Ah, oh, well, there you go. See, I didn't have to sleep with her. Apparently, I can still talk to her. Wait there, hang on. I want to be careful here. Hmm. Okay, cool. Badass. Any better? Hey, there. hey. Yeah, we didn't have to sleep with her or anything. That was badass. We, did, we didn't have a drink. We just kind of talked about her fighting. Sure, whatever. Cool, that was nice. Amazing. I'm going to set it today. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to stop today's part there. We've just finished part 32, so thank you all for watching today. I'm pretty sure it's part 32, and I appreciate you all watching. If you want to see this Witcher 3 playthrough continue, you want to support the channel, just help me out. I'd really appreciate you liking today's video, as it's really, really kind of you to do, and thank you all so much. Thank you to all of you that follow me on Twitter and Twitch, subscribe and all the rest, and as always, a big thanks to the Patreon pledges. You guys are honestly amazing, and just thank you all so much. I'm really glad to put you into these videos, and yet again, just thank you all so much. I really, really appreciate it. It. But anyway, guys, that's in today's video, and I'll see you on the next one. Have an awesome rest of the week.